This video is a day late because yesterday we took a trip to the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children. It was time for Eliza's one-year checkup. It's been almost a year since she had her final body cast removed. She was born with hip dysplasia, which required nearly six months of being in a body cast and hip surgery and pins being installed. And so reliving some of the memory of those times yesterday was interesting and surreal and draining and I realized that I caught myself thinking about how difficult and challenging it had been for me during those times. And as soon as I was aware I was thinking that, I thought about how challenging it was for her, for the child who went through the surgery and the epidural and the body casts and time in a hospital bed. But then I also realized and gave thanks that she didn't have to go through that alone. And in my if remembering the difficulty and challenges that I had gone through with her, I realized also that we're not built to deal with adversity or challenges or difficulty alone. That we borrow from other people's and we can share with other people. You and I are not designed to deal with any of these things alone. So not only does God intend to bring good out of challenges and difficulties, God has put us in relationship with others so that we are not left alone in them. This is part, this is a big part of what the church, the body of Christ is for, so that no one ever feels that they are left totally alone. If you're feeling alone in adversity, in difficulty, in challenge, know that we are here to be in that and to go through that with you. If you are not in the midst of some big challenge or diversity or difficulty right now, then maybe you can find somebody who is and share the weight with them. Carry some of their burden for them. 